Welcome back to Views with Hughes at Jennifer News. This is Jerome Hughes. And today, I want to thank you all for joining me for another episode and got more Disney news with Bob Iger and Nelson Peltz. Okay, so let's go ahead and get right into it. So just imagine this, a big company like Disney that gave you great childhood memories, whether it be the movies or shows you watched, as well as when you visited theme parks, making memories you can never forget. And all of a sudden, bam! It gets ruined, okay, by one man who is Mr. Iger himself, okay? Now, they're locked in a serious arm wrestling match with Nelson Peltz, okay? A big, you know, Nelson Peltz, who is a big-time investor known for shaking up com companies he thinks can do better. And this isn't your usual corporate spat, either. This is a heavyweight battle that could change the future of Disney itself. Now, first up, we have Nelson Peltz, a guy who just doesn't, who just invests, but who doesn't just invest, but gets involved in everything. That's why he's called an activist investor. He's eyeing a spot on Disney's board because he believes the current leaders are missing out on some golden opportunities. Now, he's also particularly miffed about how they're running Disney Plus and thinks the theme parks are pulling more than their um, fair share of the weight. Now, Nelson Peltz is also waving the banner for change, believe, change, excuse me, believing fresh ideas could boost Disney's performance, okay? But in the opposite corner, you have Bob Iger, who's the current CEO at the helm. He's ready to defend his title. He's And they're both pushing back saying, look, we've got this. And the point to their moves or Disney Plus, that is Bob Iger and his board and stuff that he handpicked, the movie studio shakeups, the big bucks poured into the theme parks as signs they were on the right track. Now, Disney's stance is all about progress, believing in the plans they've laid out and the steps they're taking to adapt to the entertainment world's fast pace. Now, as the bell rings, both sides are not just throwing punches, but they're also trying to charm Disney shareholders and the general audience. Now, remember, got the upcoming shareholder vote with Nelson Peltz and his um, nominees to stay on the board versus Nelson, well, get on the board versus Bob Iger and his on um, board to stay together. Okay, and they're really trying hard to go ahead and try to outdo one another, trying to woo and appease the shareholders, so that way, well. Nelson Peltz can uh, figure to figure out how to properly run the company on Bob Iger to try to keep uh, control of the company within his hands. Okay. Now Disney stance is all about progress and stuff, and they're taking um to adapt to the entertainment world's fast pace. Now as bell rings, both sides are not just throwing punches; they're also trying to charm Disney's shareholders and the general audience. Nelson Peltz is on the offensive, advocating for a ma major um, strategy overhaul and arguing that transparency and new approaches are needed to unlock Disney's true potential. On the other hand, you have Disney, um, it, which is all about reassurance. Now, they're telling their fans and investors that there's a method to their madness and that the ship is steering in the right direction under the current cruise watch. Now, this isn't really about boring seats. It's not just about boring seats, but it's about the direction that, that Disney will take. Okay? And we're all familiar with the kind of direction that Disney has been taking. They chose to go in the direction of woke. Okay? Political ideologies and stuff to alienate a certain audience and stuff with um, certain biased um, tactics and policies and everything. But the thing is, that's how Disney's lost their core audiences because that's something they don't want. They don't want politics of any kind, um, anything in their entertainment. Now, will they um, stick to their guns or will Nelson Peltz's push for change usher in a new era? Now, this battle is a turning point, setting the stage for how Disney adapts to the challenges and opportunities of today's digital fast-paced entertainment landscape. So, why should we even care about this corporate drama? Well, for one, it's Disney, a company that's touched a lot of our lives and stuff in one way or another, and the battle with Pelts could influence how Disney operates, affecting everything from the movies and the shows they produce to the experience at their parks. Now, Nelson Peltz is also arguing for a strategic shakeup to dive to excuse me, drive growth while Disney believes in their current path and leadership. And it's a classic clash of old versus new stability versus change. And it's all happening in the public eye. All right. Now, the big tussle between Disney and Bob Iger and Nelson Peltz is more than just corporate politics. It's about the future of 
a cultural titan, whether you're a Disney fan, a shareholder, or someone who loves a good business saga. Now, this is a story worth watching, and the outcome could redefine what Disney is um is and how it fits into our lives and dreams okay so the thing is that you have bob Iger here he's the reason why so for so many wrong decisions okay not just the the um approving of the whole live action remix and everything but he also double, double down on diversity race swapping and every, everything for the live action remakes as well as other movies okay and the fact of the matter is you have also nelson peltz who figured that, you know what, I'm losing a lot of money, okay, a lot of shareholders also losing a lot of money and stuff, it's time that we go ahead and vote on, on this thing, so that way the, the company can make a profit again, okay, and a lot of shareholders actually agree with Nelson Peltz, okay, and just yesterday, Bob Iger made a move of desperation, where um, apparently, most likely might have been coercing Luke, George Lucas and stuff to go ahead and support him on the board, all right, but the fact of the matter is that Bob Iger is definitely getting desperate because of the simple fact that he's making all these moves and everything. And yet at the same time, a lot of people still talk about Nelson Peltz and how they're looking to, to support him. Okay. But the um I got a feeling that this is gonna become a big, big match between the two. Okay. And there's probably already drama unfolded behind the scenes and stuff. But the thing is, is that none of this would be happening if Bob Iger would have actually stuck to the original Disney plans and stuff, which was to simply entertain and be producing family oriented content and everything. All right. But unfortunately for uh, Bob Iger, I'm going to have to say that ship has sailed a long time ago. OK, not only while Bob Chapek was the CEO, but also when no, well, not suppose when Bob Iger came came back as the entitled he was still at the company running things but now we see that everything that's been approved of today either happened under um bob chapek or most likely been changed up a bit by um bob Iger. And speaking of changing things up a bit um we all know a lot of people out there saying that bob Iger is looking to cancel all woke content and stuff where he's looking to remove woke as elements as well as making the uh, every entertainment politically unbiased or apolitical okay but we shall see that when we believe we shall believe that when we see when we see it. so let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below also be sure to include any additional details you might have on this particular topic if you enjoy, enjoy what i shared in this video go ahead smash like button share follow across social media and if you haven't done so already you enjoyed all the content i put out there go ahead subscribe to the channel click click the bell notification so that way you'll be notified of future uploads and updates to them peace